What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya, and in today's lesson, we're going to look at 10 false friends. If you're a Spanish speaker, these words are likely to confuse you. Are you ready? So take a notebook and let's kick off. Before we start, just to remind you that false friends are English words that look very similar to words in Spanish but have a very different meaning. And now let's begin with our first false friend, which is eventually. Eventually. In English, eventually doesn't mean eventualmente, but in the end or finally. Por fin o finalmente. And if you want to say eventualmente in English, you could say occasionally, from time to time, or every now and then. For example, I wanted to go to the cinema last weekend, but I didn't eventually. And now let's move on to our second false friend, which is an adjective, dependable. Dependable. In English, it doesn't mean dependente, but reliable. Somebody you can trust and depend on. Alguien fiable. And if you want to say dependiente, it would be dependent. An example sentence, she's an incredibly dependable employee. In this case, it's something positive. Our false friend number three is misery. Misery. In English, it doesn't mean miseria, but great unhappiness. Pena o tristeza. If you want to say miseria, it would be poverty. For example, I want to help him get over his misery. Number four, carpet. Carpet. In English, it doesn't mean carpeta, but a kind of rug, but bigger, that covers floors. Alfombra. And if you want to say carpeta, it's folder. For example, there is a wine stain on the carpet. Number five, suburbs. Suburbs. In English, it doesn't mean suburbios, but outskirts. An area near a big city, but away from its center. If you want to say suburbios, it would be slums. For example, Tom prefers to live in the suburbs as it's much cheaper. Let's move on to our number six, reunion. Reunion. In English, it doesn't mean reunion, but a social event for a group of people who haven't seen each other for a long time. In Spanish, reencuentro. And if you want to say reunión, in English, it's meeting. For example, next month I'm having an annual reunion with my former classmates. Let's move on to our false friend number seven, career. Career. In English, it doesn't mean carrera universitaria. Be very careful. It has two meanings. It can be a series of jobs that you have in a particular area of work. For example, a career in journalism. And another meaning is a period of time that you spend working. In Spanish, it's carrera profesional. An example sentence, he had a successful career as a tennis player. Number eight, deception, level C2, deception. In English, it doesn't mean deception, but the act of deceiving, engaño. If you want to say deception, it's disappointment. For example, in the movie Parasite, the poor family infiltrates into the rich house by deception. Two more to go. Number nine, to conceal. To conceal. In English, it doesn't mean confiar, but prevent something from being seen or known about. In Spanish, ocultar o esconder. And if you want to say conciliar, it would be to find a balance between. For example, he couldn't conceal his disappointment. And last but not least, number 10, to support. To support. In English, it doesn't mean soportar, but help somebody. If you want to say soportar, it would be stand. For example, I'll always support you no matter what. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this English bit. If you did, don't forget to check out the first edition with 10 more false friends right here. And of course, don't forget to give this lesson a huge thumbs up 
as it's super motivating and inspiring to subscribe to my channel and do my daily quiz on Instagram. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!